Welcome to Favstar's Modern Warfare 3 Equipment Guide. In today's episode, the ACS Field Upgrade. The ACS, or Automated Computer Spike, is a brand new piece of gear in Modern Warfare 3. Designed with the solo objective player in mind, it combines the equipment hacking benefits of the classic engineer perk with the ability to passively capture objectives while providing freedom of movement to patrol the area, defend and secure kills. In today's video, we'll review exactly how the ACS works, which in-game items are hackable, and later on I'll reveal a secret hidden benefit allowing you to easily capture and defend some of the most hotly contested domination flags in Modern Warfare 3. The in-game description describes the ACS as a field upgrade which slowly captures points in domination, hardpoint, control and ground war and temporarily hacks nearby enemy devices. The ACS has a slow charge time of 2 minutes and 20 seconds, which can be reduced by getting kills or earning score. We'll begin by analyzing the basic functionality of the ACS and its ability to capture objectives. Once placed on the map, the ACS will deploy its four antennas, indicating the device is active. Placement is important because once deployed, it can't be repositioned. Unless destroyed by the enemy, the ACS will remain active for about 11 seconds before self-destructing. In the game mode of domination, if placed on an objective, the ACS will immediately begin to capture the objective at the exact same rate as if you were capturing the objective yourself. Of course, in domination, adding a teammate to the capture zone will double the capture speed. As a result, using your ACS will allow you to solo capture a domination flag twice as fast as you could manually capture without the ACS. It's worth noting that the ACS can also contest a domination flag, mirroring the functionality of a single operator engaged in contesting the objective. In hardpoint and control, the ACS functions in a similar fashion and is able to hold or contest an objective during its 11 second activation period. In addition to objective play, the ACS also provides equipment hacking benefits which we'll demonstrate with the Claymore Lethal Equipment. Once activated, the ACS will immediately hack all hackable enemy items within an 8 meter radius of the ACS. The hacked equipment will now function as friendly equipment. And despite the visual appearance of burning and fizzling circuitry, the equipment will remain hacked and continue to function normally for its full duration even after the ACS has self-destructed. It's worth noting that the ACS's 8 meter hacking radius is spherical in shape and is able to hack enemy equipment through walls and floors. As long as the enemy equipment is within an 8 meter range of the ACS, either horizontally or vertically, the hacking process will be successful. It's also worth mentioning that the maximum amount of hackable items appears to be capped at 4. As a result, using the ACS is the only way to have more than two pieces of lethal equipment simultaneously deployed. The ACS is able to hack several pieces of equipment across all equipment categories. How the ACS responds depends directly on the nature of the equipment being hacked. Autonomous proximity activated equipment, which is electronic in nature, will be converted to friendly by the ACS. This includes the Claymore and the Proximity Mine lethal equipment, as well as the Scatter Mine, which is a piece of tactical gear. In the Field Upgrade category, the Portable Radar, the Suppression Mine, as well as the Comm Scrambler are all hackable by the ACS. The trophy system is somewhat unique and can only be hacked if it's deployed after the ACS is already active. A trophy system which is activated first will treat the ACS as an incoming projectile and destroy it before it becomes active. Non-autonomous equipment which requires further action from the user will simply be destroyed by the ACS. The C4 explosive which requires manual detonation will be destroyed immediately. 
the tactical camera, which can operate autonomously but also features optional manual controls, will also be destroyed by the ACS. Interestingly, two opposing ACS units will simply cancel each other out, resulting in mutual destruction. Some notable gear, which is clearly electronic in nature, is unaffected by the ACS. The recon drone won't be destroyed and will continue to operate normally, even if it's within the ACS's 8 meter effective range. Unfortunately, the breacher drone is also unaffected and will be able to pass through the ACS's 8 meter effective range en route to its destination. The shock stick is not only unaffected, but is also a hard counter and will destroy the ACS if it's within the shock stick's effective range. The remaining devices are non-electronic in nature and as a result are all unaffected by the ACS. It's also worth mentioning that the ACS has no effect on kill streaks. Even the SAM turret, which is an autonomous proximity activated device, won't be negatively impacted by the ACS. Another hidden, possibly unintended benefit of the ACS is its ability to capture domination flags through walls. The map Skid Row has one of the most hotly contested and dangerous B-flag positions. Placing your ACS one floor below and directly under the B-flag will not only capture or contest it, but also hack all enemy equipment in the B-flag area, vastly improving your team's chances of a successful capture. Another suitable location to employ this strategy is on the map Favela. The wooden platform above B is a suitable capture spot and is guaranteed to result in confused enemies and easy kills. The ACS is an extremely underused field upgrade which is much more powerful than it appears at first glance. Its hacking capabilities combined with its ability to lock down an objective without exposing yourself to enemy threats is a huge advantage and at times makes the ACS almost feel like an extra teammate which is completely focused on playing the objective. Of course this is only one man's opinion, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.